As of this morning, Roe v. Wade was officially overturned, meaning that there is no constitutional right to have an abortion. From expanding the Second Amendment to overturning Roe v. Wade, it's fair to say, wherever you stand politically, that the last 48 hours have been intense. Critically, let's talk about what happens next. Abortions are not now automatically illegal throughout the United States. Rather, each state now has the right to regulate abortion however they want, including outlawing them entirely. And that's the main difference. When Roe was still in place, federal law prevented all states from banning abortions prior to the third trimester, but now that's gone. 13 states already have quote-unquote trigger laws that ban abortion as soon as Roe is overturned. The Attorney General in Texas and Louisiana, for example, have already stated that abortion is now illegal in their states. In the next few weeks or months, conservative states will likely place more restrictions on abortions, whereas progressive states will probably keep things exactly the same.